This doesn't feel right. Hey everyone, my name is Tom and I welcome you to Escape Reality Hobbies. Admittedly so, this is going to be one of the stranger hobby videos I probably ever do for my channel. But with all the crap that's going on in the world right now, specifically the Ukraine and other things that are getting people down, I've been seeing quite a few posts lately, mostly on Instagram because I follow a bunch of people there that are stating they just can't get into building plastic models, they have no interest in playing their tabletop war games. I've even had family, friends, neighbors, and even perfect strangers at a restaurant because I may or may not overhear the conversations while I'm waiting for my appetizer to come. But I'm actually hearing them saying they just can't get into their hobbies and simple things. They, they just can't enjoy it because it doesn't feel right. Well, I went through that same thing many years ago, and I'm here today to share with you the things that helped me get on my rut, what new thoughts popped into my head suddenly, what gave me a new outlook on life, that you know what, it's okay to enjoy your hobbies. So what I want to share with you is how to keep calm and carry on. In September of 2001, I was stationed at Fort Meade, Maryland. I had been in the Navy for a little over 18 years at that point. Um, I had belonged to a couple modeling clubs in the area. I wasn't a prolific modeler whatsoever. If I did three, four models a year, that was pretty good for me. And then this happened. I was shocked, I was outraged, I was pissed off, I was disgusted, I was sad. Me being in the military and I worked in the intelligence field, I pretty much knew what had happened and who had done it. I knew that our country and our allies were one way or another going to war. There was going to be some conflict someplace. Needless to say, I had very little interest in doing any modeling, especially any subjects that were war machines, tank, aircraft, ships, etc. I was thinking to myself, how could I possibly build these items without feeling like crap? I felt like I was being disrespectful to the people who had died, the folks that had been injured, all the first responders, the country as a whole. I just felt terrible. And as a matter of fact, it lasted for several months. There were a couple times when I almost, almost sold or even gave away all my military models. I was that bad. Then about five months later, just out of the blue, I had an image pop into my head. This poster was designed by the British Information of well, British Ministry of Information in the summer of 1939. The Brits pretty much knew what was on the horizon. There had been so many unchecked moves by Hitler. Sound familiar? That they knew what was on the horizon. They had designed three separate posters, and surprisingly, this particular poster was never released. A couple copies, I think, maybe escaped out but it was really never known by the public until really the year 2000. I think it had been used in a movie sometime in the 80s, but not really until 2000 did it become famous. This poster to me will always be linked directly to Sir Winston Churchill and the British people themselves. Now granted, keep calm and carry on. What does that mean? To me, this is how I interpret it. No matter what's going on in life, no matter what crap is around you, continue to be you. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to enjoy yourself. It's okay to enjoy your hobbies. Let me take that a, a, one step further. Just because I modeled war machines, tanks, aircraft, ships, etc., it didn't mean I was a warmonger or somebody who glorified war. No, I loved history. I was a student of history. I enjoyed building things in miniature. It was a comforting hobby with me. The same thing with tabletop war games. If you play tabletop war games, you're not a warmonger. 
You don't glorify war. It doesn't matter if it's a, a game that's historically correct, sci-fi, fantasy. It doesn't matter. You enjoy the game. You enjoy your hobby. You enjoy collecting these little figures and painting them. And you enjoy the camaraderie of your friend. If you let what's going on in the world around you keep you from doing what you want to do, you're letting the idiots in the world, this jerk right here, get to you. Don't let them defeat you as well. Enjoy life. Keep calm. Carry on. I hope these thoughts in one way helped you out a little bit. It's okay to enjoy your hobbies when crap's going on in the world. Be yourself. Be happy. Enjoy life. And most importantly, I hope that you get to escape reality with your hobbies quite often. Take care, everybody.